Well, I'm here in my mother's basement and I'm practicing vlogging, video logging, or whatever you call this process of recording yourself as though you're talking to somebody who exists but who you don't necessarily know. And uh, I'm doing this because I'm a, I'm a PhD student and I'm hoping to use video logging and video logs as part of my thesis work. So I'm kind of experimenting a little bit and trying to figure out exactly what it's like to make one and what it's like to uh, to post and to maybe have people watch it and reply. I'm trying to decide whether I should send this to everyone that I know or if that's shameless self-promotion and perhaps ridiculous. So I probably will send it to everyone. But hope that they'll forgive me for sending it. Anyway, um, in the process of uh, kind of thinking about what would I post and what would I do, I was trying to think about things that uh, concern me about social work that I might want to talk to other people about. And so I know, for example, when I finished my BSW, almost right away, I got a permanent full-time job. Then when I finished my master's, I never ever got a permanent job again. Uh, so for 10 years, I did contract work kind of floating around from place to place, um, from job to job, uh, doing different things and working with different people. Now there was lots of stuff about this that was really cool because I got to do a lot of things in a lot of different places and work with a lot of different people in a lot of different contexts. But the challenge was that when you know you're only going to be somewhere for a while and you suspect that there isn't really an opportunity to renew the contract because the funding won't be there or because the person whose job it really is is going to come back from whatever leave they were on, uh, you know, it can be a bit hard to make relationships with people. So there were times when I felt a little bit isolated and a little bit lonely. And even though, uh, you know, you know that a job is temporary, there's always a part of you that kind of hopes that somewhere down the line it might get renewed or it'll become permanent. At least that was my experience. And so I tended to be a bit guarded in terms of how I behaved and what I talked about and who I talked to uh, in case there was a possibility that I might get another job from the job that I was doing at the moment. And even though I look sort of like a nice person with my little haircut and my fancy glasses and here I am in the rec room of my mother's house. I'm actually kind of a bit of a radical social worker and so sometimes you have to be a bit cautious about you know who you let know that because they might not be into that kind of practice. So anyway I'm just wondering if there are other people out there who have also experienced a bit of loneliness or isolation or alienation as a result of the context in which they're practicing. Maybe because they're a contract worker who works in an organizational setting or who works you know actually contract where you you get your clients and you work with them independently or if uh, maybe you work on an interdisciplinary team and there aren't necessarily other social workers in the organization or institution that you're working in. And this might not be a bad thing, but I would imagine for some people it might create a little bit of isolation and distance from other workers. The other thing I'm kind of curious about is professionalization. We don't talk too much about professionalization anymore and so for example about 10 years ago we talked a lot more about professionalization when in a Canadian context a lot of provinces were adopting legislation that required social workers to have membership in either a college or association or to seek some kind of licensure from a, a, a body of authority. Anyway, back about 10 years ago, there was a lot more happening in terms of conversations about uh, issues related to professionalization and the potential benefits and challenges that professionalization might present for us. And I know, for example, Lena Dominelli was one of the people who led conversations about professionalization and competence and the potential de-skilling of social work and stripping back of social work and kind of minimizing of the value of social work based on those kinds of institutional and fixed definitions. So I'm wondering if there's still people who are having these conversations and I guess one of the things that are spawning my questions is the issue of 
uh, exam writing as part of the registration process for social workers. It's my understanding, based on information that was provided to me by my college, that for example in the province of Ontario where I live and where I practiced, uh, there will be an exam that will be a part of the requirement of being able to call yourself a social worker and practice social worker as its social work as it's understood in an institutional way. So uh, I wonder what people think about exams and I do have to confess that I actually write questions for one of the exams in the US but I have a confidentiality agreement and I'm not allowed to talk about it. So what do people think about exams? Is this a good thing or a bad thing? What kind of exam should we have if we're going to license social workers using an exam? Did you know this was happening? Are you aware of it as an issue? So if you're not aware of it, you might want to visit the Ontario College of Social Workers and Social Service Workers or the Association of Social Work Boards. They're both organizations that are represented on the web and I know that there are many provinces in Ontario who already use an exam and it seems like a lot more provinces are considering moving in that direction. So even if you're not from Ontario, I'd still really be interested if you felt like responding to this post to hear what you think about social work exams, professionalization, and the realities of isolation and alienation in the field. So those are things that I'm interested about. Uh, this is not specific to my thesis. This is just really kind of a practice thing and I'm wondering if people will respond to me if I post this and then send it around to everyone that I know and put it on my Facebook and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, if you're interested in this stuff, I'd be interested in having you respond to me and uh, having another opportunity to vlog using this handy dandy webcam that I just bought a few days ago. Okay. Thanks very much. This is the lonely social worker in her mother's rec room signing off.